Former Pink Floyd mastermind Roger Waters will once again bring his production of The Wall to North America. He'll start the tour September 15th in Toronto, Ontario, and Chicago, Philly, and L.A. will so far enjoy two nights with the production. Goodbye. Pink Floyd. 1990, he tore it down in Berlin. Now, 2010, he returns with his masterpiece of rock theater, Roger Waters, The Wall. On tour and coming to a city near you. All the songs from the legendary Pink Floyd album. Tickets are on sale Monday, May 10th. More at rogerwaters.com. The reason that I designed this show all those years ago was because I had become somewhat disaffected by doing gigs in football stadiums in front of large numbers of people who I felt were not really engaged in the same thing that I was engaged in. I thought of doing a show where I built a wall to express the feelings of alienation that I had from the audience. I've still got a bit of paper somewhere. It's this drawing of an arena with this thing across it. Day after day. A lot of the story relates directly to what was going on in my life. I had some pretty dark and desperate moments all those years ago. When the first wife left over the phone, I was devastated. I did sort of bounce off the walls for quite some time. I didn't ever uh, smash up a hotel room or throw a TV out the window or anything. That was Led Zeppelin. Bless them. Thank God. Uh, if there was a God, you know, which there isn't. You start finding parallels in other people's experiences. The separations that you might feel from things that might be important to you, symbolically represented by this wall that is separating you from the band who are playing the music. I want to make some much broader political and humanitarian statements within the narrative that people know and that was there 30 years ago. When I hear it now, it makes me think of Saudi Arabia, where they do send you back to mother in a cardboard box. If you're caught in the back seat of a car and you're not married, they stone you to death. We have a hotel room built in false perspective that flaps out from a particular section of the wall and I sing this song, Nobody Home. It's a little bit of straight theater, but I really like that in the original show, so we will be doing that again. I would not have considered taking this piece on the road again and just going, what did we do then? What did we do? Okay, we'll just do that. What you just sent us, the light was sort of level with the bottom of the set. I like all the nuts and bolts. It's from the detail that the feeling comes. We're using cardboard bricks again. When we did it originally, we had three 35mm projectors and we projected three separate 4 by 3 frames across uh, 80 feet of wall and then the rest of the wall had nothing on it. In this production we're projecting across 230 feet across the whole width of the wall. It looks really beautiful. The ambition is really simple, it's just to try and move people a bit. When you suddenly see it through 16,000 new pairs of eyes and the ears and hearts and souls, not that we have souls, but if we did, I think I'll be excited to see how that first audience responds. Just hope they don't sit there, you know, sort of thing. What the hell? <laughs>